What's going on, people? It's your boy Macadocious Ferocious back with some more boxing news, views, and opinions. So uh today we talking about Errol Spence, man. Hey, you know, strap season. Strap season part two, 154. Who called it? Mac World called it. I told y'all. Bud Crawford don't stop nothing. One monkey don't stop no show. You know what the saying say. And uh this one thing I like about Errol, going up to 154 like he wanted to, fighting Keith Thurman. I'm going to tell you how that was a power move. First of all, did Bud Crawford or did he not say he was going up to one? Bud Crawford don't make no plans. He don't never say who he going to fight. He don't call nobody out. He been riding. He been, he been sniffing up under Errol nuts for years. He said Pacquiao, which he didn't get. Then Arrow got the fight, and what'd he say? Man, Pacquiao don't matter, Arrow don't matter, all that don't matter now, right? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember Bernie the Boxer saying that with his old goofy looking ass? Look like the Charleston White of boxing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but nah, yeah, he was saying all that don't matter though, right? So he only said Pacquiao, then he said Arrow. But then everything fell apart when it came when it was time for his episode of strap season that season finale you know Crawford wasn't ready yet he ain't wanna he ain't wanna he ain't wanna get them sockets checked in you know they say arrow you know this what I this what I say about arrow arrow is a mechanic you know what I'm saying and you know what he got in this toolbox he got a socket wrench in that motherfucker cause he tuning up them eye sockets you know what I'm saying and uh, Terrence Crawford got some big ass orbital sockets. He ain't want to get that tune up real fast. He knew Arrow was hot. He was fresh. He was coming off that. He coming off feeling himself. He had that momentum behind him. What he wanted to do was stop that momentum. But fuck that though. We ain't even gonna talk about dude, man. We on, we on, you know what I'm saying? We on EJ, right? So check it out. This is what I like about that move up to 154. First of all, it proved that Crawford is some cap. And it proved that half the boxing world. And I ain't even gonna say half the boxing world. I'm gonna say boxing really live on YouTube. That's where it live at. Shout out to my boy Keon. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everything boxing. I heard him say that shit and I said, you know what? I'ma coin that phrase and I'ma I'ma shout him out. Mainstream boxing, that shit dry. The way they cover it dry. We do the heavy lifting. We covering it from day to day. We dropping the content. We bringing it from different angles. We trying to bring some creativity to the way it's reported. I do this. And I show some gameplay footage. I throw some dope ass beats on. I try to make it like we in the room chilling. And we just talking boxing. You feel me? Mac World. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't, if you new, welcome to Mac World. This is what we do, right? But let's talk this boxing though, right? So, did Crawford or did he not say he was going to move up to 154? I could have swore he said he was going up to 154 after he fought EJ. This is all I heard Crawford say. I'm fighting EJ, and I'm going to whoop his ass. Then I'm going to move up to 154, and I'm going to whoop Jamel Charlo's ass. That's all I heard Crawford say. So, now that EJ said, okay, well, if you going up to 154, how about I just meet you up there? I'm a whoop Thurman, and this was significant about Thurman. So let's talk about that, right? What make you the top guy of your era? Is it getting the belts, or is it beating all the top guys of your era? Because Errol Spence did both. He got all the belts except the one that Crawford is sitting on that, you know what I'm saying, which don't make no fucking sense, and I could do a whole hour-long deep dive on that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... So, who Errol Spence got all three of the belts. He the unified champion of that division. And if you put a list of the top guys in that division, Errol Spence beat all the top guys. And he beat them when they was defending champions. He beat Sean Porter champion. He beat Kell Brook champion. He beat Ugas when he was a champion. He would have fought Pacquiao, but he had the injury. Ugas got the fight, but he, he went double back, spent the block, beat Ugas. Right? Right or wrong? Strap season, baby. You know what I mean? So, he did that. He beat all the top guys. And the only guy here, Danny Garcia. He beat Danny Garcia. Mikey Garcia wanted to move up. He said, what'd he say? He seen something. Everybody tried to get on Errol Spence about the Mikey Garcia fight, but Mikey Garcia called him out. So, what the fuck is we talking about, right? So, anyway, he beat all those guys. Lamont Peterson. 
who was who was good. He not beating no name people. He beating people with names. He's beating named guys who you know their names. He don't fight tune ups. He don't fight scrubs. He don't do bum fights. And he fighting Keith Thurman, somebody with one loss to Manny Pacquiao. Keith Thurman gonna sell the fuck out the fight. Keith Thurman ain't trying to go out looking weak, and Keith Thurman ain't never not come to fight. You know what I'm saying? So this finna be a good fight. And it's EJ first fight at 154. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to seeing it, right? But he said, all right, Crawford, you coming up to 154. I'm going to call your bluff. I'm going to meet you up there. I'm going to meet you up at 154. But what Crawford do, he shrunk back down. <laughs> See, man, he's leaving. He's leaving one. Okay, he leaving 147, right, Crawford? Well, answer me this. Answer me this, Crawford or any other Crawford fans. If EJ is ducking somehow by leaving and going up to 154 to fight a fight which Crawford said he was coming up there anyway that would indicate that Crawford is staying at 147 Crawford is 35 years old been fighting been holding on to one belt and ain't fought ain't tried to fight no belts ain't went for no belts or none of that shit you know what I'm saying EJ said strap season Crawford said nap season you know what I mean so he sat his ass up there so what y'all think he finna do now ej moving up to 154 and all of a sudden y'all crawford or y'all fans think he about to get super active at 147 and just start fighting champions or just he want all the belts now come on man stop the cap y'all know he not finna do nothing at 147 so it's just about this is what they worried about they worried about public opinions right and that's all they trying to do. Really, Bud want to retire, but he want to make sure that he want to gauge what the public sentiment is going to be about him retiring. He don't want to, he's not trying to fight no hard fights. If I could say I kept my O arguing and debating and, and blah, blah, blah to try to talk about how I didn't need to fight nobody because of what I did at 140. He's trying to get out. He's not coming outside. He's trying to get out the game. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm going to say this. Whether you love it or hate it, EJ is the biggest name in the sport right now next to Tank Davis. Every day, it's a conversation. When I, look, I, it could just be my timeline, but y'all let me know if it's y'all's too. Everybody keep up with all the boxing channels on YouTube every day. The discussion is about EJ. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make a video about that because I got, I got some other shit I want to say. I'm going to call that video What Boxing Is Not Talking About. And that shit is coming real soon. That's going to be my next video, right? But anyway, yeah, that move up to 154 was a power move. He calling Crawford's bluff. He moving up there. He saying, you say you're going to come up here with shit. I'll meet you up here then. I'll meet you up here then. Shit, stop that cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 154 was a good move. Don't even let it don't it don't even matter what the public think or nobody around you think. People got their fantasy matches they want to see and all that, but business is business. You know what I'm saying? You can't do business with nobody you can't trust. And you can't make nobody fight if they don't want to fight. You can offer them everything. They can say, well, you know, I need to come out first. I need to, I want it in Nebraska. I want it in Alaska. You know what I'm saying? They can say whatever they want. I'm not fighting in Texas. Okay, we'll fight in Vegas. Well, I want to fight in Vegas. I want to come out first. Like, no, it, it don't. It don't matter. If somebody don't want to fight, man, they ain't going to want to fight. If you bringing them three belts and you bringing them a shit ton more money than they ever made before, then um, what's the problem? Oh, and I'm going to say one more thing because I'm going I'm to get out of here real quick, right? But I'm going to say this one last thing. I went to school, you know, for business and shit like that. And, you know, I ain't no manager or no shit like that. I ain't even going to say that. But I know a little bit about some numbers, right? And based on what the fight was projected to sell, pay-per-view, and the gate that it was projected to do, um... And them getting offered 20 million, and then you know they get 20% uh, of the back end once BLK clear their money back. Dude, they paying themselves out of their own back end. It's stupid as fuck. It was a it was a wraparound deal. Crawford's stupid, man. Like, but yeah, I ain't gonna get into that though. I'ma say that for y'all. But that's all I got for now. And y'all remember, you can play games, but you can't play boxing. I'm out. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Right here, you trust me? Right here, right there.
Come on, 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 come on,